to what extent can we blame ANEC? If one judgment of uh, is it March of 2017 says, well, uh, the candidates, the time for nomination and withdrawal or substitution of candidates is over, that can happen. And then if there's another judgment in 2016 which says uh, the PDP candidates or the PDP must have a candidate in that election, what does ANEC do in that case? ANEC, would, ANEC should first follow the provision of the law, which is section 87, subsection 10, that says no court order. Assuming without, assuming without considering that there is a valid court order, Section 87, subsection 10 says no court order shall stop the holding of a general election. It's a clear wording. When words are used clearly and are unambiguous in a law, you interpret them very unambiguously. And that is what I need, ought to have done. Secondly, the same judge, Justice Anwoli Chikere, in March 2017, now mm -hmm. held again that nobody who did not participate in the original election mm -hmm. is entitled to participate in the court declared fresh election. So, and this is a judgment later in time. In the same Anambra Central Senatorial District case. What does that judgment mean? If he says uh, the candidates of the APC, I think that, that judgment was between uh, Sharon Kazo, APC and INEC. Yes. Does that then mean that since she can participate, the candidate of the APC in that case happens to be uh, Senator Ngigi? Who had written for his withdrawal? Who had withdrawn? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a break. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. We're keeping our focus on uh, the Alhambra Central Senatorial Election. What is the difference between uh, this election? Because all of these judgments. For those who think, well, this might be a little confusing. Is this any different than what we saw in Kogi, for instance? Um, to an extent, well, what we saw in Kogi when Abu, Abdul Abubakar died um, was a continuation of a, an election. Uh, and then uh, APC was allowed to replace um, the candidate. So INEC interpreted it, and the Supreme Court also agreed with the the interpretation of INEC that election was continuous, that election didn't mm. stop. There was no court order of a fresh election and there was no by election. If there was a by election, other parties would have been given the opportunity to have nominated fresh candidates. But in this case, what we have is a general election. Okay, I'm just l looking at this because if you say um, what we have is a general election because there are some of those court judgments when they were talking about um, whether or not it's a general election, is it a by-election, is it a fresh election. So will I think be wrong to say, look, we have to wait until all of these cases are exhausted in the courts, we have no encumbrance before yes. we proceed with elections? No, I think would be absolutely wrong. And I quote section 87, subsection 10 of the Electoral Act, which says nothing in this section and that's talking about nomination of candidates, presentation of candidates for election, shall empower the courts to stop the holding of primaries or general election or the processes thereof under this act pending the determination of a suit. Hmm. It is clear. So, so does it then suggest, mean that uh, if you say that no court has got the powers to stop a general election, yes. what kind of elections are we looking at? in Anambra Central? Beautiful question. This uh, the election we are looking at in this Anambra set, um, Central and uh, Senatorial election is a general election and I have the authority to back it. S Labour Party and INEC, the, judge, uh, the Supreme Court clearly stated that a by-law, a by-election is different from a general election and that a by-election is where there is a vacancy, either by way of impeachment, by way of death, or by way of resignation. That become, makes that position vacant. And so candidates can come up afresh. But a general election is an election where everybody is, uh, is allowed to start off afresh. And a court-ordered election is a continuation more or less like a refreshment of the general election, not a refreshment of the by-election. And so the court clearly stated that any court, every court-ordered election is a general election. Clearly stated. And if you permit me, I have, I have it here, the, the, the law report of um, the Supreme Court, 2009, 1-2 Supreme Court law reports, part 3, page 
page 48, where the Supreme Court, the, that the Court of Appeal, where the Supreme Court held that the Court of Appeal did not order a by-election, which by the said decision hearing they produced, is an election specially held to fill a vacant position. There was no vacant position to, the, to be filled. No one died and no one was removed as governor by an impeachment. So the Court of Appeal was right. The Supreme Court was upholding the decision of the Court of Appeal that what is being held in the Anambra Central Senatorial election is a general election that the Section 87, Subsection 10 applies to. Okay. So the Supreme Court is upholding the decision of the Court of Appeal by this. So if I understand what you're saying, uh, yes. in conclusion, is that INEC is right to have uh, heeded the court judgment of, uh, I think, between the PDP and INEC by rejecting a fresh candidate from the PDP. INEC was right. Absolutely right. But you say that uh, they are wrong yes. by not going ahead with the election Brilliant. in the light of the fact Brilliant. that some cases are still, Brilliant. one or two, Brilliant. still pending. Brilliant. They are right in rejecting candidates that were not part of the original general election. But they are wrong in stopping to hold or refraining from holding or not holding that election because of 